Hey there, Steve here. Welcome to another episode of Steal This Core Progression, where I teach you a functional core progression, and feel free to take it away and use it for your own song ideas. For this episode, we have some lovely big sounding chords in standard tuning, perfect for that blend of Midwest emo slash math rock. To make these chords sound big, we're going to be making use of a lot of the open strings, so if you want to change key, just affix the capo in the desired place. We're in the key of E major, and the chords are an E major 9, an E with an A in the bass, an F sharp minor 11, followed by an A major 7 chord. This gives us a progression of 1, 1 slash 4, a minor 2nd, and a major 4 in the key of E major, like I said. So, let's take a look at a few ways we can use this chord progression. If we apply some slight gain, uh, we can introduce this upbeat strumming pattern to give kind of a, a verse feel to a song. use them for an outro to a song, giving us one last hurrah. But we need to make sure that we uh, resolve down to the tonic here, on the E. Next, we can cycle just between the first two chords and introduce some arpeggios of each of the chords uh, to give this kind of a bridge or bridging feeling to a song. And then we can later introduce the other chords to release the tension. This section could work well with the original section that I introduced. Uh, however, we can just cycle with that same rhythm between these two chords instead again release that tension by introducing the last two chords of the progression. If we apply more gain, the chords can sound quite mushy. There's a lot of harmonic information going on. Um, even if we change over to the bridge position, as demonstrated here, it still sounds a bit too much. So instead, what I recommend is playing smaller versions of these chords, kind of like alternatives to power chords in that regard. roll back the volume like I've done here uh, to get a nice clean sound and then you can bring it back up again when you want to introduce the distortion. And here I'm finishing off this progression by just using some arpeggios and introducing a borrowed chord here and then resolving to A instead. Thanks for watching, there's a chord chart available to patrons and thank you to the patrons that support the channel and see you next time.